Joining me now to break down the Quebec budget of 2024-2025 is Professor Danielle Bellin, the director of the McGill Institute for the Study of Canada. Thank you so much for joining us, Professor. You're most welcome. Thanks for the invitation. What do you make of the record deficit of $11 billion and no timeline of a balanced budget just yet? Yeah, I think it's a difficult uh, fiscal situation uh, for the province. Right now, uh, we have, uh, you know, revenues are lower than uh, expected, including re uh, revenues from Hydro-Quebec. Uh, also, economic growth this year was close to zero, was very, very low. Um, and at the same time, spending is up. This is not an austerity budget, right? Uh, spending will increase uh, uh, by uh, more than 4.5% uh, a year. Um, there are some attempts to control spending in some areas, cutting some, um, you know, tax credits, subsidies to electric cars will be phased out, increase in tobacco, uh, tobacco taxes. So there are a few ways the government is, is trying to, uh, you know, control spending and get some more revenues. But uh, overall, this is um, a, a, a large deficit. And so uh, you can see reactions to the budget from the Liberal Party of Quebec. Uh, very negative uh, take on this, saying that basically the government has lost control over public finance. While on the left, Quebec Solidaire is saying, well, no, you're not doing anything to address the housing crisis, other social needs. So depending whether you're on the center right or the center left or the left of the political spectrum, you have very different different take on that budget. How can Quebec recoup this without taxing citizens? Yeah, well, last year, you know, we had a tax cut, income tax cut uh, in the last budget. And so the government thought we could afford uh, this tax cut. And I think in retrospect, probably we were, uh, it was a mistake to do that. Um, so uh, I think that there will be, um, as I said, some attempts to uh, increase revenues in some areas and, and, and to uh, control spending in terms of the public owned enterprises, for example, like Hydro Quebec, the SAQ, they will be asked to make some cuts so that they actually can funnel more money to the government. Um, but overall, I think it's um, people should be worried that uh, you know we we are in a in a fiscal situation that's deteriorating, and the government doesn't seem is basically waiting, hoping that the economy. Improves. Who are the big winners of the budget? Um, the government says that health and education were taking the biggest slices of the pie. For health, it's, you know, increase above 4%. Uh, it's fine, but, you know, health care costs increase really rapidly. So I think here, education with a, an increase of above 9% is the, 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 the big winner of that budget. Um, and, and so I think this is this is good news. But the needs in terms of our education system are really dramatic. Uh, and so again, it, it doesn't mean that such an increase, uh, if it's not sustained over a number of years, will actually make a big difference. Thank you so much for joining us, Professor Bellin. You're most welcome. Take care.